Yo, hello tomatoes, how are you today on Fantastic? So you guys, I'm obsessed with fast food, who isn't? Oh, there are some people that say, I don't eat fast food. <laughs> I'm about to make a Taco Bell remake. This is my first kind of like fast food remake that's not like giant or slime or like out my ass. I am gonna make the new double something. Let me look up the name, I forget. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be making the triple double crunch wrap supreme. I forgot the name because there's a lot of triples and doubles and stuff. I, I wanted to get it right, so I did. I looked it up. I am legit. I am the realest YouTuber you're ever gonna meet. Everyone else is fake. I'm real. Subscribe to me. So it's basically a crunch wrap supreme, but like double layered and with like nacho cheese and stuff. It's gonna be delicious. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Burlap. Y'all, Burlap is a brand new clothing boutique that lets girls get like high fashion clothing items for 75% off to 80% off. Slayed. They're honestly like one of the best kept secrets of like fashion and clothing buying. And y'all, they're like honestly growing super fast. Like they went from 0K likes on Facebook to 500,000 likes on Facebook in two months. They are like blowing up. If you need like a swimsuit or a dress or like cute summer clothes to look cute and be like, yes, look at me. Then check them out, because they honestly have really nice bathing suits, like really nice dresses, everything. I mean, if you want to look cute, <laughs> like if you, if you want to look cute, check it out. There's a link in the description, and if you click it, you will get 50% off the whole store. What? Burlap, slay! 50% off is literally half off the whole store. So y'all should check out that link. At least like check it out, come on. Burlap is for real awesome. They have great clothing. So if you're interested in new clothes, wanna get cute things, please go check them out. They are amazing. The link will be at the top of the description. Thank you so much Burlap for sponsoring this video. You guys are amazing. Okay y'all, let's go make our double, triple, quadruple, Kate plus eight. <laughs> Talk about item, okay. Y'all hear that? <laughs> That's my meat defrosting. Y'all, defrosting my meat sounds honestly painful. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get my meat on there. Oh my god. I swear, beef is so gross. I'm a turkey kind of person, but still a little frozen. <laughs> Y'all, I blame this on Elsa. I blame everything on Elsa. So, the truth is was that I was gonna use Taco Bell seasoning, just like in like the packet, as my meat seasoning, but I guess that God had a different plan for me. <laughs> I forgot the seasoning at the store, so I have to make my own. I guess it just adds more to the DIY. God was like, oh my God, this DIY is a little too simple. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna cook this up until it's all brown, and then we're gonna work on our seasoning, okay? Homosexual, H-O-M-O, -O, bitch, gifted me. I'm as gay. And have y'all ever noticed that like Taco Bell's meat is like, like, okay, it's like obviously meat, but like it's like a crummy meat. It's almost like you're eating like meat dust and I love everything about it. Meat dust is like my aesthetic. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just try to crush this meat up as small as possible because that's how Taco Bell's is. It's like little crumbs of meat. Why you hating on my ass? Are you jealous? Yours is flat. This is very crummy, wouldn't you say? Okay, so now just drain off all this meat fat. Y'all see that? Ugh, I'll be back. Okay, so I basically drained off all the fat and look how crummy that is. I think I did a good job. It's really crummy. So now for the seasonings. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna add some dried chopped onions here. That looks literally like toenails, and I love it. Am I the only one that loves spitting out my fingernails? Especially when it's at your sibling or something, you're like, eat my nail, bitch. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. Some cumin, well, a lot of cumin, because cumin, I think, is like the main flavor, I feel. And chili powder, of course. And then some salt. And some water. I honestly am not sure if this will taste like Taco Bell. But I saw a couple of recipes online. And I tried to make it kind of my own and do my own version. So, we shall see. Mmm, it actually smells kind of like Taco Bell. So just cook this until all the water is like absorbed by the meat. And all those flavors are in there too, okay? Mine is juicy, mine is big. Yours has wrinkles and some shit. So much steam in my face. So much steam. Y'all, there is so much steam. Oh, y'all, new band name. So much steam. Y'all, if I had a band, it would probably just be me because I don't have any friends. So the lead singer would be my anus. The backup dancers will be my nipples. <laughs> it would be really fun. God loves days anything. Okay, that is loud sizzling. Stop trying to outshine me. This meat is done. I think it looks pretty 
pretty Taco Bell accurate, right? Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna make our nacho cheese sauce. Okay, so here, <laughs> you get it, queso, queso. <laughs> Here we, have, here we have a can of nacho cheese. I haven't tasted this, so I don't know if it tastes legit, but let's hope it does. Oh my god. Oh my, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells like, like legit nacho cheese. Who knew nacho cheese could come out of a can and be so good? And now to make it a little extra cheesy and more Taco Bell-ish, I'm adding some real cheddar cheese to it to get a really nice gooey consistency. So I'm just gonna plop some in. I think like that much, that's good. Mix it up a bit, you guys. Have I ever mentioned that nachos are my favorite food? By the way, this is not gonna be lumpy like this. It's gonna melt and get delicious. Mmm, so, so good. <laughs> you ain't ever gonna change my sexual life. Now this is cheese. <laughs> that is nacho cheese, y'all. Imagine this on a giant chip in my giant stomach. Okay, so now that this is done, set that aside. Okay, so I got the biggest tortillas I could find. I'm not even sure if they're big enough, <laughs> but I think it'll be okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up and I am going to take my tostadas, how cute, and I'm just gonna cut around it like that. So we have a little matching size tortilla. Kind of. Okay, perfect. So now it's the fun part. It's time to assemble. So I'm gonna take a big ass tortilla. I'm gonna add some meat in the center. Now I'm gonna put some of my nacho cheese creation just around little droplets. Oh, that's a big droplet, okay. Oh, girl, stay in your lane. Now I'm gonna put a tostada, yes. By the way, I'm Cuban so I can do a Latin accent. And now I'm gonna put more meat Oh my god, I, I hope this even closes. And more queso. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna put another tostada. <laughs> See, it's double stack, whatever it's called. I'm gonna put some sour cream, spread it around on there. Oh my goodness, I love sour cream so much. <gasps> yes, mama. Some tomato, and then some shredded lettuce because this is a salad. <laughs> it's a salad DIY. And now it's kind of the hard part. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is take one of my little tortillas I cut earlier, put it on the top, and then fold it up like a Crunchwrap Supreme. Let's go around, around, <laughs> around again. Oh my gosh, <gasps> this is the hard part. Oh, did it, okay. So now we're gonna transfer this to a um, pan. This side down, okay? This side down so it seals. I'll be back. Okay, so I just sprayed this shit with a little bit of Pam. I'm gonna spray the top now as well so the other side will get a little toasty. And now we wait for it to get crispy. That's my time. Raise your rainbow flags up, bitch. And prepare your twerk. The preacher's trying to come in as a fuck. Okay, time to flip it. Let's see. Oh my lord, it's pretty. It's beautiful. Yo! Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of this. I did not know I could birth something so glorious until this came out of my vajayjay. Does this not look like it came straight out of Taco Bell? It's done. It's perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna cut into this. I really hope it stays like in its form. Yeah, okay. <gasps> oh my god. That actually looks really good. I'm shook. Uh, don't mess up. I need you for the thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I think that this turned out pretty perfect. Are y'all saying that? That looks like a Taco Bell product. I'm just saying it looks amazing. Uh, look at this sign. Look at this sign. Shall I taste it? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> One of the best things I've ever tasted. Oh my god. Dare I say it, it's just as good, if not better, than Taco Bell itself. And I'm not being prideful, because pride comes before the fall, but it tastes damn good, okay? The one thing that I would change is, I would take away the paprika, because it added too much of a smoky flavor, so I would just take that out, but other than that, it's perfect. Literally, the nacho cheese, the, oh my god, everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Burlap. Amazing clothes and a 50% off discount the whole store. Link at the top of the description. Go check it out. <sighs> yeah.
that flavor was overwhelming. I'm, I'm a little tired now, honestly. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys next video. I love you so much. Oh, boo, boo.